In John 21, Jesus is again found feeding his disciples, telling them where to fish, where the miraculous catch of fish will be. And they recognize in the repetition of that miracle that this is Jesus, this is the Lord. So Peter, with all of his enthusiasm, jumps out of the boat, swims to shore, and is reunited with Jesus. And they have a private discussion. Now, John tells us one detail. He tells us that Jesus is cooking the fish on a charcoal fire. And the word in Greek is a very special term that only occurs one other time in all of the New Testament. It occurs in John chapter 18, where Peter is warming his hands at a charcoal fire when he denies Jesus. So for those who are reading this in Greek, they're immediately hearing, uh-oh, charcoal fire, uh-oh, denial, uh-oh. Finally, Peter's situation is going to get resolved. And Jesus asks him a series of questions. Peter, do you love me more than you, these love me? Peter, do you love me more than these? Peter, do you love me more than these? And within this exchange, Peter says, Lord, you know everything. Lord, you know that I have love for you. It's a play on words between agape, self-sacrificing love, and phileo, brotherly love. But what is really important is that Peter says to Jesus three times, you know everything. You know that I love you. Because Peter denied Jesus three times. And prior to his denying Jesus, when Jesus said to Peter, you will deny me, Peter said, no, I won't deny you. I will follow you to death. Now Peter has been broken. Now he acknowledges that Jesus knows all things and that he will follow Jesus. And this is what Jesus says to him, follow me. Because Peter had promised he would follow Jesus to death. So this conversation is a conversation of healing. It's a conversation of restoration. It's a conversation of taking care of that wounded heart that had done something that might have been felt to be unforgivable and seeing that it's forgiven and being called to follow once again and this time acknowledging that Jesus is the one who guides him on the way.